Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Away Y669 Bluetooth speaker. This video is not sponsored by Away, so I will be giving you my honest opinion about this product. The speaker comes in a variety of colors, but black looks better in my opinion. The body of the speaker is mostly covered with this fabric and the logo feels like it's made from plastic. It has two passive radiators located on the sides and it's kind of hard to push them inward. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. On the top of the speaker are the controls. You have the power button, plus button for volume up or next track, play or pause button, minus button for volume down or previous track, and the last one is for activating the TWS feature. This feature helps you connect two away Y669 speakers together, which I cannot demonstrate in this video because I only bought one. The symbols on the buttons are hard to see, so it definitely took time for me to get used to it and where the volume keys are at. Anyways, to turn on the speaker, you need to hold down the power button until you hear the startup sound. Power on. For skipping or going back to the previous track, you need to hold down on either the plus or minus button, because if you short press, that will only change the volume of the speaker. One thing I like is the battery capacity indicator, which is made up of four LED lights. When there's only one LED light, it means it's low battery, and then you will start hearing a warning sound, letting you know that the speaker needs to be charged or it will shut down very soon. Speaking of shutdown, the Away Y669 will automatically turn off if you are not using it for 5 minutes. It will only do this in the Bluetooth mode but won't auto shut off if you're using the line in mode. Power off. On the bottom is where you will find the lanyard loop and on the other side there is a cover that's protecting the micro USB port and the auxiliary port. I gotta say I don't like the location of the lanyard and the ports that I just mentioned. Just because if I wanted to lay the speaker on its side, the lanyard will be in the way and you end up having the front speakers facing upwards like this, but you can always have it stand up vertically. One thing to note is the speaker is not balanced. What I mean by that is if you push it from the back, it will roll forward very easily. The Away Y669 has three speaker drivers. You have two 8 watt speakers in the front and one 50 watt speaker at the back which obviously adds up to the 31 watts that is stated on the box. The Away Y669 only has two modes, and that is the Bluetooth and the line-in mode. The Bluetooth will automatically activate when you power on the speaker, but if you need to use the line-in, just plug in the auxiliary cable that came with it, and it will switch to the line-in mode right away. And of course, it will switch back to the Bluetooth when you disconnect it. It's important to remember that the speaker should already be powered on before plugging in the aux cable. Because if you plug in the cable before turning it on, the Bluetooth mode will still be the first option but not the line-in mode. If that ever happens, just remove the aux cable from the speaker and plug it back in again to activate it. The speaker has a 7.4 volt battery with a capacity of 2200 milliamp hours. The charging time for the speaker stated on the box is 4 hours and the playtime is 12 hours. During my testing, the speaker was fully charged at 3 hours and 17 minutes. And it was charging over 1 amp, which is a very good thing. The playtime is different for all of us. For me, I was able to use it up to 12 hours, but I was using it at different volumes, meaning I did not use it at max volume all the time. Speaking of volume, the Away Y669 is really loud, and it's great to take with you to the beach or use it at any small outdoor activity. You do have to keep in mind that this thing weighs around 2 pounds, and that's almost 1 kilo, so yes, it's a bit heavy for its size. The Away Y669 has an IPX7 rating, which means the speaker is protected against immersion in water at a depth of 1 meter. So you don't have to worry about it if you get caught in the rain. Alright, now we go to the sound test. Make sure you have some good earphones or headphones for this part. Enjoy. Power on.
The OAY669, like I said before, is loud and the sound quality is good. I do wish the treble was a bit louder, but that's okay because I can use the built-in equalizer on the phone. I did notice that the left and right speakers were not in the right place, meaning the speaker on the right was playing the left channel audio and the left speaker was playing the right channel audio. I'm not sure if this is happening to all speakers or only with the one I got. That's it for this review, let me know what you think about the Away Y669 and is it worth buying for $27 or not? Well for me the answer is yes, just because the battery life and playtime is excellent, the sound quality is good and also loud, and I also like how they did not lie about the 1 amp charging current. Anyways, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It helps me a lot if you do. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.